I hope you're feeling festive, because today we're going to make a snow globe in Adobe Photoshop. Now, uh, to do this tutorial, what you're going to need to have is a nice folder full of images. I've got myself some images that I could use um, uh, to help me create my snow globe. I've got some existing snow globes to reference or to use and cut up. And I've got some Christmas trees and other things that I might like to stick inside my snow globe. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to start off by going to Photoshop and I'm going to make a new document and I'm going to measure in pixels and I'm going to set my width to 1600 and my height to 1200 and I'm going to work at a resolution of 150. I've chosen 150 because I think I might print this out later and that's low quality printout but it's good enough for what uh, we're going to be doing today. So let's click OK. Background doesn't matter because we're going to get rid of that later anyway. It's going to be covered up. So let's click OK and I've got my image. Now I need to bring in my pictures. You can hear the, my little reindeer bells going off in the background there. Um, I'm going to bring in my pictures by going to File and Place. Now this brings in a picture as a smart object that could be edited and you can apply filters and it allows you to edit those filters. But let's start off by going to Place and on my desktop is my pictures and I'm going to start off with my background. So I'm going to go to Snow and Stars and click Place. And we see that fits in there. It's a bit, it's the wrong aspect, but it's really just this sort of scene down the middle here that I'm interested in. So I'm going to scale this up and you can see as I scale, it distorts. So I can hold Shift to stop it distorting. And I can also hold the Alt key. And this means it moves in all directions at the same time. So it scales evenly. So I'm going to get the width of the page, maybe just a little bit over, that'll be fine. Let go with the mouse. Um, and position it where I want, so I want a bit of the snow uh, just there, that, that'll do. And when I'm happy with it, to get rid of the X, to show I'm, uh, which shows I'm editing uh, that thing, if I just press enter, that X goes, and you can see I'm left with my scene. Now, I'm happy with that, so I'm going to click lock, so it doesn't move around, and I don't accidentally move it or change it later on um, while I'm working. So what do I do now? I'm going to place, I'm going to make the sky a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to go to File and Place. And I'm going to bring in the Eagle Nebula. Now look at that fantastic starry uh, uh, sky. It's a close up taken by the Hubble's telescope. So I'm going to place that image. And again, it's a little bit too small. So I'm going to do the same thing. Shift and Alt and just scale that up to the size of the page and press enter. Now it completely covers up our snow and stars scene. So I'm going to change uh, the blending mode. At the moment it's normal, so it literally just covers it up. But in here are lots of different settings that change how uh, the picture is placed on top of the layers behind. Now I'm going to go to screen, and what screen does is make black transparent and white completely um, opaque. So if I choose screen, you can see the effect here. It's sort of see, you see the whole of the stars, but we also see the background in there. But we've got stars over the ground and we've got stars over the trees. Now I don't want that. So I'm going to create a layer mask. So over here under my layers, I've got a little button here. And if I click that, it creates a mask. Now what the mask does is where it's white, it allows the picture through, and where it's black, it doesn't. So to make a nice sort of blend into this, I'm going to use the gradient tool. And I'm going to put myself on a linear gradient, so it goes in a, a straight line. And it's going to go from black to white. And I'm just clicking on that mask to make sure that that's selected. And I want you to watch what happens as I create a, a gradient across here. I'm going to drag it all the way down. And you can see I get lots of stars at the top and where it's black, I get no stars. Now, I think that's a little bit too um, sort of gentle, the gradient. So I'm actually going to go to the top of the tree here, or just above it. I'm going to redraw that gradient a little bit shorter, maybe to where the snow begins. 
Um, so I get more of the stars in the sky and that's just about right. So you can see the, the effect of the gradient in the mask going from white to black. Where it's white we can see, where it's black we don't get any. And I'm happy with that as my background. So again I'm going to lock that so I don't accidentally change it later on. So what's next? Well let's start to make the actual globe itself. So again I'm going to go to file and place and I'm going to use a, a bubble to make the globe. So if I place the bubble in, there it is. Now I'm happy with that as a size and I, so I'm going to press enter to get rid of the cross and there is my bubble. So what do I want to do? I want to get rid of this blue background so I'm just left with the bubble. So I'm going to use my select tool to do that. Now I'm going to use the elliptical um, marquee tool here. Now the problem with this it's quite tricky to be precise with um, circles. So I'm just going to get my magnifying glass and I'm going to uh, zoom in. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some guidelines to help me. So to use guidelines I need rulers. So I'm going to go to view, rulers and bing. There they are. And then I can grab from the ruler holding the mouse button down. I can bring down uh, my little guideline and I'll do the same from this side so pulling from the ruler keeping the mouse button down right to the edge um, of the bubble so I can now go to my selection tool my marquee selection tool um, click where these overlap and that pulls out a circle now to make it a perfect circle I can hold shift and it maintains that absolutely perfectly I can go right to the edge get that spot on and now I've selected my bubble. Now I'm going to create another mask layer but because I've done my selection first it will automatically just select uh, that as the white area for my mask so I can see uh, my bubble. Now it's meant to be glass so you should see through glass so to make this uh, slightly see-through. Again I'm going to change my blend mode but I'm not going to go to screen this time I'm going to go to overlay so I can see uh, all the lights and reflections in there and I can see through my globe so I'm happy with that and because I'm happy with that I'm going to click lock so I don't accidentally move it. Now I want to put in some stuff inside my globe I'm going to start off with some snow and because it's inside it needs to be behind the bubble so I'm going to click on um, my Eagle Nebula layer and again I'm going to go to file place and I've got some snow on the ground so it should have some perspective and look like snow so there it is I'm going to place that in and it's hidden just about everything but our, our bubble and I think I'll just zoom out a little bit I'll place that file I'm just going to zoom out a little bit um, hold alt and click and now I want to reduce the size of this snow now to reduce it I use the move tool and I'm going to show transform tools and it'll just pop the handles back so again I can do the shift and alt and I can scale that uh, down a little bit just slightly bigger than the bubble uh, and move it down to there uh, and that will do me absolutely fine press enter when I'm happy to get rid of the cross to say keep those changes. Now we don't want the snow outside of the bubble we only want the snow inside of the bubble so again I'm going to make sure I'm on that layer use my elliptical marquee tool again use my crosshair as a guideline hold shift to make it a perfect circle get it to the edge of the bubble let go so now it's selected just that area so again I'm going to make um, a mask but before I do that I think this is too high and that line is too straight inside so I'm actually going to go and get my uh, lasso tool and I'm going to change the setting up here to subtract from selection and I'm going to create sort of a wobbly line for the top of the stone and I'm going to go all the way around the top of that bubble so it deselects as I use subtract from selection it deselects that top bit so I'm just left with this snow at the bottom and now I can click mask 
and boom, you can see what's left there is the white bit that we see through. And you can see I've got some snow inside my snow globe. And I'm really happy with that. So again, I'm going to lock that layer so I don't accidentally change it. So what's missing from my snow globe? Well, some stuff inside, which I'll add later. Um, the base is missing. Oh, some snow. Let's actually put some snow falling so that we've got some snow on the ground. So that's, um, that's the right layer to be on because snow falls in front of the ground. So we go to file and place and I'm going to pick my snow and I'm going to place it in place. And that's about the right size. So I'm just going to press enter. And again, what we need to do is use our marquee tool, uh, our circuit, uh, elliptical marquee tool. Let's use our guidelines. And if you look very carefully, you can just about see the edge of the bubble. So I'm going to hold shift to make sure I've got the perfect circle. Go to the edge of that bubble. Let go. So it's selected. I'm going to apply a mask. So we're now down to what looks like a star field inside uh, my bubble. Not very effective. And I'm going to use the same blend mode as I did for the eagle, which was um, screen. So now my snow is falling inside the globe and not outside. And I'm quite happy with that layer. So once again, I'll lock it. And let's put the base onto our snow globe. Now I've actually got a picture of a snow globe with a base. And I'm going to use that as my starting point. So let's go to place. Let's get the owl in a snow globe. See there's quite a, a nice little owl. Not very festive, but there we are. So I'm going to place that one in. And uh, that will do. So I'm just going to press enter. I'm happy with that size. And I'm just going to zoom in because I want to focus on the base of this. And let's just center that a little bit. Uh, uh, better. Now to set the base, most of this is a nice crisp shape, so I'm going to use my um, uh, my quick selection tool. Uh, that brush is a little bit big, so let's just shrink that down. Uh, that's about right. And look, if you look, I've clicked just on the black and it's selected most of the base, just not these little bits up there. So I'm going to add those. And so I could be even more precise. I'm just going to zoom in a bit more on those. And let's get um, the lasso tool, but I'm going to change it to um, magnetic lasso. And make sure it's on add, because I want to add these bits to what's selected here. So let's click there. And let's just go along the edge. And just click every now and again, just to make sure it's going where you want it. Uh, I'm going to go all the way along here. And I'm just going to see if I can get just the edge of this. I didn't get it quite. Neat. So let's just click every now and again. And so I'm getting right on the edge of. And if it goes wrong, don't worry, just press delete and click every now and again just to st stop it from misbehaving so it knows exactly where you want to go. There we are. And then let's take it up and click. You can see that's added to my selection. Let's go to the other side. Let's fix that side. So I'm going to click again round the edge. And you can take a little bit more time than, than I'm giving this at the moment. There we are. That will do um, for our purposes anyway as a demo. So I've selected that. And you can guess what I'm going to click next. I'm going to click mask. And I'm left with just the base um, of there. Let's just zoom out. Let's put it about 40%. Okay. Now it looks to me that that's behind our bubble, which is not the place we want it in front. So there we are, that's a little bit better. And it needs to be moved down. And I think it could probably do it with being just a little bit bigger. So let's scale that up. Alt and Shift. And so we've got that around the base of... That's it, the base of our globe. I'm really happy with that. And so I'm going to lock 
that layer. So all I need to do now is put some things inside. Um, so it's, what's inside is going to sit on top of the snow. So let's click on the snow layer. Let's place a few things in just to, well, let's just stick a tree in. I think I've got a ready-made Christmas tree. So let's place. Uh, that's too big. So again, we can scale that down, Alt and Shift. So it's inside our globe. Let's get it to a reasonable size. And I might just position it slightly off center. Press Enter. Boom. And I now have a finished uh, snow globe uh, in a lovely uh, special Christmassy scene. Now you can stick anything you like in there. You can find your own pictures. Use some of the pictures that are there. It's up to you. Have fun. Share your pictures.